Some super exciting news coming out of Softa because they are about to announce their latest release, a Notion data source integration, which enables you to build custom portals and apps directly on top of your Notion data. So in this video, let's look at how you can build custom client portals, wikis, directories, and more using Notion and Softa. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. In today's video, we're diving into Softa's new Notion data source integration. With this release, it's easier than ever to build beautiful custom interfaces that directly pull in your Notion data. And for those of you that want to build help centers, wikis, and blogs, you want to check out how easy it is to build beautiful directories that not only connect to your Notion data, but also updates and syncs with it. First, let's look at connecting your Notion to Softer. So you want to jump into your Softer dashboard and from the side panel, just select data sources. Then you're going to want to select connect data source and of course, select the Notion logo, or the Notion option there. Then hit continue and it'll be time for you to select what pages you want to share with Softer. So select pages, and then I'm just gonna share the entirety of my general workspace and select allow access. Now, let's look at using that connection to build out some custom portals, apps, and integrations. There are already some cool products out there that allow you to turn your Notion database into websites or help resource wikis. But the cool thing about Softer is you have the absolute freedom to build whatever you want. Let's start with something simple. You're using Notion as your content management system. Perhaps it's simply blog posts, SOPs, or it's a place to store and manage your help resource docs. Well, you can create a clean front-facing content center from Notion using Softer that you can share with your teams, customers, members, clients, whomever. Here, let's quickly build a basic blog and connect this Notion CMS, zero code directly to it. It's super basic. It's just some blog posts with some custom fields for post tags, the author, guest posts, and yada yada. So jumping into Softer, let's add a dynamic block, specifically a list. Then we want to select our data source here on the right side panel. That drop down there, choosing the account that we just connected together. And then you can select your database or search for it. Zero code blog, and then you can set a conditional filter. For example, I only want blog posts that have been published to show. So add a condition, and we can see those Notion database properties. Selecting publish is, and I'll include a custom value of checked. And as we can see here, because publish is a checkbox in the Notion database. So back to softer go through and check the rest of the settings before moving on to the content tab where we can map our Notion properties over to our softer fields. We have the main section here and the secondary below with all these text boxes. In that secondary section, I'm just going to delete all of these except one and I'll map over the AI custom generate description for this then just change that layout. And now let's set up the main section and map our Notion data over. Cover image, well, that's gonna be the featured image, then the heading, which is gonna be the name, tag, of course, we've got tags, then the short text field, I'm just gonna delete that. And let's preview this bad boy, waiting for it to load. That's already looking great, but I want this to be the blog directory. If we select an article, that means we want to read the entirety of it. So now jumping back into the app editor, we'll select the actions tab to the right of content, then scroll down until you see item on click. Select the drop down menu, but if you aren't able to select this option, you may need to jump back into the content tab and just under the secondary section here, toggle off, click to expand. Back to actions item on click, open details page, then select the page. We need to create a details page from 
the template, waiting for that to load, then edit and design your blog post page or your wiki page or your whatever it is. Then heading to the content tab again, we'll be mapping over our Notion data, the title or the heading, the description text we've got up there at the top, of course, images and the rest. Then you also want to make sure that you have a property or a field in Notion for your content text or rich text and that you don't just have it simply included in the database item like here. So let me create a property and pull that in. Then I'll select that new property or field for the rich text. This is a great example for anyone that wants to create a clean directory that pulls in your Notion data. If you run a membership-based business, use Notion to manage your content, your users, your membership subscriptions, and more. Then build a software app where members can sign in, access exclusive content, and renew their subscription effortlessly. So here you can navigate to users on the left side panel and directly pull in your user base directly from your Notion data source. Just select that account and then select your correlating database. Then you'll need to map your Notion properties to your software app, including the email and just the name for now. Then if you scroll down, you'll see the option to set the default authentication method, either a temporary password or magic link. Then you sync your users and they'll now be able to log in or sign in to your content center. We just looked at a super simple example of using your Notion data source. So what else can we achieve? Let's look at creating a custom portal. Now, here I've created a client management system. It includes the clients, a project tracker, task tracker, timesheet, invoices, and more. Now, instead of giving my clients access to this workspace, let's create a user-friendly custom client portal. Easy enough. I'm going to start from scratch, but what Softer does really well is not only offer some beautifully designed templates, but also provide you with some options to turn your blank canvas into an already functional portal or app. I'll accept to include all these options and let's just dive straight in and waste no time. You want to show your client or customer information on the product or services you're providing them. Let's include a project tracker and a task tracker that breaks down the projects into more actionable items. Then we'll quickly add some other functions. Firstly, we'll add a grid view to the client portal and we want to pull in the project tracker source. However, there are multiple clients. So let's add a condition and only pull through tasks related to the currently logged in user. Now, rather than selecting the client for this condition, the logged in user will dynamically change what info is shown depending on who is accessing it, saving you from creating multiple portals for your multiple clients. Now let's make our way through mapping the properties again, hiding these, the project name, We'll need to edit some fields in order to include the due date and also the kickoff date for the project. Now make sure that you correctly label your fields. Tag will make the deliverable, marketing, etc. Just change that label. Okay, like with our first example, we want the client to be able to select a project and then be redirected to see more info. So let's quickly create a details page. Loading, and I'm going to delete that grid first and then just add a list because it will be better for visuals of project tasks. Then in source, connecting that same database, I'll toggle on the sub item options and select item or sub item. Then head to content, quickly hiding the image, pull in the name, the heading, the subtasks themselves have due date, so we can include this to break down the project further. Then we would just need to clean up this task tracker a bit more, but let's jump back into the portal home. We want to make sure that the detail page is connected correctly through actions. Yep, sweet. So whenever someone, we'll quickly preview this, whenever someone selects a project, they're then redirected to that details page where they're shown a list of more Details, you also want to get paid, right? 
So let's create a table dynamic block and pull in the client tracker invoices, but create a condition so that it only pulls in the unpaid invoices, then work our way through the content fields. Simple text, the name, the status I'll change to the due date, and of course change the label. Rating obviously doesn't apply. And just quickly work your way through the rest of the content fields. You'll notice up here the add record button. Currently, this is set so that the customer facing view enables your client to add records to your data source, which we want to change. So in actions here, we'll select to pay invoices for the label and you want to input so that it opens a page then select the redirect page. You could then create a payment page, which we don't currently have, so we'll call it payment page. Then just create a payment block and either pull in a simple checkout form, billing block, or Stripe customer portal. Then you can have your clients and customers pay directly in app. Okay, so we've looked at a couple simple examples of using the Notion data source integration, but what about the ability to add and update items in your database directly from your software app. When building out apps for customer facing and employee facing needs, you've got to think about usability. You'll need an app that not only syncs with your Notion data, but also updates it. Not only that, you'll also want to use multiple data sources or databases in the one app. For example, consider a service business, plumbers, electricians, technicians, these companies benefit greatly by using apps that can be directly used by workers on the job, providing further details, and by customers looking to book a service or to get an update of their current status. You can store all your service quotes, track jobs, manage customer data, SOPs, and even monitor your inventory in Notion. Then use software to build a clean user-friendly app to bring it all together. By building a field app, you're streamlining communication between your team and customers. So let's jump into another app and look at the possibilities. Here we have a customer facing form. When a customer submits the form, we want to update our customer tracker and also create a task for our team to follow up. So here we have the option to select where we want to send our responses. I'll select data source, then source and scroll until you find Notion there. I'll select the Notion data source, which is services customers. And now this form will directly sync with and add items to our Notion database. Let's jump into the questions and map which table column we want to update in our data source. I'll delete that and the message and change this to job type. Just add some dummy options. For examples, and make sure that your content fields are ready, configured, and let's publish this. Then we'll open it and just quickly include our details at mail.com. Quickly include a number. I'll just select the job type. And oops, I forgot to change the placeholder for job type, but we'll submit the inquiry regardless. And if we jump into our Notion database, we can see a new customer has been created. Now you could also then create a database in Notion and a form in Softer that collects data from technicians who provide maintenance or repair services on site, allowing you and your team to document work, completed time spent, and look at any issues encountered. If you haven't got started with Softer yet, you can start today absolutely free just use the link and code in the description below. And soon you'll be building tools, apps, and portals for your business.